Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to question number four of miscellaneous exercise on chapter two <clears throat> for which we have to prove that sine inverse 8 by 17 plus sine inverse 3 by 5 is equal to tan inverse 77 by 36 and what should be our approach to solve this question so in this case we will first get sine inverse and both these uh, functions in terms of tan inverse and then we will see we will use the formula of tan inverse a plus tan inverse b so let's consider our first function is a that is a is equal to sine inverse 8 by 17 now if a is equal to sine inverse 8 by 17 so that means sine a is equal to 8 by 17 and from here we can get cos a which is under root 1 minus sine square a and this gives me 1 minus 8 by 17 the whole square so this is now 1 minus 64 by 17 square is 289 so this is 289 upon 289 minus 64 which is equal to 9 minus 4 is 5 it's 2 2 per d 5 by 289 which is equal to 15 by 17 so our cos a here is 15 by 17 and we need to get tan a so tan a is we know that in terms of sine and cos it's sine a by cos a now sine a is 8 by 17 has to be divided by 15 by 17 which gives us 8 by 15 so this is tan a is equal to 8 by 15 <clears throat> which means a is equal to tan inverse 8 by 15 and a we have assumed a to be sine inverse 8 by 17 so sine inverse 8 by 17 is equal to tan inverse 8 by 15 let's keep it as it is and let's move on to the second uh, function and let's consider b is equal to this is sine inverse 3 by 5 so this gives us sine b is equal to 3 by 5 and let's find out cos b which is equal to root of 1 minus sine square b and this gives us 1 minus sine it's 3 by 5 the whole square which is equal to under root now this is under root of 1 minus 9 by 25 and this is equal to 25 minus 9 is 16 by 25 which gives us 4 by 5 and now cos a is 4 by 5 sorry cos b is 4 by 5 which gives us 10 b is in terms of sine and cos is sine b by cos b and sine b was 3 by 5 has to be divided by 4 by 5 which gives us 3 by 4 so that means b is equal to tan inverse 3 by 4 but b was sine inverse 3 by 5 so sine inverse 3 by 5 is now equal to tan inverse 3 by 4 and let's consider <coughs> LHS so LHS was sine inverse 8 by 17 so this is sine inverse 8 by 17 plus sine inverse 3 by 5 so sine inverse 8 by 17 is 10 inverse 8 by 15 plus this is 10 inverse 3 by 4 now this is of the form 10 inverse a plus tan inverse b and we know that this is equal to tan inverse a plus b upon 1 minus a b so this is equal to tan inverse a that is 15 plus 3 by 4 and it's upon 1 minus 8 by 15 into 3 by 4 and this has to be simplified this is 3 this is also 3 okay this is 
3 by 4. Okay, let's get it simplified. So this is 10 inverse and LCM of 15 and 4 is okay. This is 60 and which gives me 32 plus it's four three are 12 upon this is 1 minus 24 by. 60 sorry it's not 16 it's 60 and now this is equal to 10 inverse this is 44 by 60 upon 60 minus 24 is so this is the lcm 60 minus 24 by 60 60 and 60 gets cancelled now this is equal to 10 inverse 44 upon 60 minus 24 is 10 minus 4 is 6, 5 minus 2 is 3, so it's 44 <coughs> by 36, which is not the correct answer. Let's check it once again. Okay, it's 8 by 15 plus 10 inverse 3 by 4. So it's 64, 15 four, that is 60, okay. This is not well. So four sixty divided by four is fifteen and fifteen into three is forty-five. So this is now thirty-two plus forty-five is seventy-seven. So this should be seventy-seven by thirty-six. So which is equal to RHS. Hence we have proved that sine inverse 8 by 17 plus sine inverse 3 by 5 is equal to 10 inverse 77 by 36 and this solves our question number 4 let's move on to question number 5 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching